Hey everybody, Michael here from Get Fit Over 40. I'm kind of slouched down because I've got the camera lower. It's not exactly at my belly button, it's a little higher, but usually the camera is just to get my head in there when I'm standing, I have it set up higher. Problem with that is it kind of distorts the overall image a little bit. So you see like a larger upper body and smaller legs. For me, that's not always a good thing because I'd say my upper body is probably a little bit proportionally larger than my legs, so it just enhances that a bit more. So the idea here is that hopefully you can get a more rounded picture of uh, what's going on. So I'm gonna have to, if I'm up close, I'm gonna have to be kind of down like this, but that's okay when I get back, you should be able to see everything pretty good, a little bit better. So we are three weeks out from the West Coast Iron Van City Showdown, and uh, things are going good. Last week was really, really good. Uh, stayed on my program really well. Um, even on the weekend, I had some social things going on and I still was able to be in a deficit even with no workout on Sunday, I did a lot of walking and came in like at least 500 calories under my maintenance, which is kind of what I shoot for on the weekend. Not as not as heavy of a deficit, but get into there a little bit so that I don't undo everything I did over the week. So Monday to Friday, I'll be in at least 1,000 calories per day, if not more. Calorie deficit, doing workouts every day, walking several times, several miles, like six, sometimes seven miles a day to get the job done and try not to eat too much. That's kind of the goal, right? Um, so probably I'm weighing in heavier than normal. I'm weighing in about 198 pounds and my body fat scale isn't uh, giving me happy, happy information, but that's okay. It's not, it doesn't really matter what your devices are saying or what the scale tells you or what the body fat percentage you're getting measured on some, some digital mechanical device. They're not a hundred percent accurate. They just, and it doesn't tell the whole story. Um, I've been prepping for this show a little further out than I normally would because of COVID and all that stuff. And I've been training uh, six days a week for a lot further out than I normally do for a show. So I'm probably holding more muscle. It just makes more sense. I've been eating better foods. Uh, even with COVID for me, I'm at home a lot so I can control my food more and eating out less, you know, being more careful with my macros and my calories. And I've been prepping for a longer period of time and not having to do it quickly. And so I think that's contributed to being able to, you know, carry more muscle mass into this show and be in a fairly lean state. And my belt and my clothing is telling me the story. And that's that my midsection is still tight. It's tight. It's as tight as it should be right in this. I'm in my last belt hole. I'm wearing my weight belt is, you know, is nice and loose compared to where it would be sometimes, you know, a few weeks out. And so everything's looking good. Everything's looking tight. I'm not, I don't feel like I'm carrying a lot of fat into my back, which is great or on my face. You know, sometimes that can mean water retention and things like that. So I don't think it's a lot of water retention. I just think I'm carrying more mass. And I don't think my scale is telling me the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. So, <laughs> you know, what you look like is more important than what these devices say. So, um, and I've got three weeks, three weeks to get ready, two weeks of really hard cutting. And then I've got like a, a social thing one week before on the weekend. So I have to really be careful with that. But then I'll have another full six days to tighten up if need be that last little bit and get everything ready. And you know, I'm probably, I'm holding a little more water right now than I will be. I'll, the last week, the water comes off completely. You know, I get rid of um, pretty much anything that can contribute to water retention, supplements, creatine, all that kind of stuff. Anything that can contribute to water retention, you get rid of it. Sometimes you have to get rid of things as far as three weeks out. So uh, keep that in mind. That's a different subject. Maybe I'll talk about that in another one, but all right. So let's do a little bit of posing and uh, I don't really have my routine like totally ramped up, but I'll sort of go through my initial thing that I'm probably going to do for my classic physique posing. So I'll probably start off with sort of like a side tricep, right? And then go into a side bicep, up, side chest. Leg going. Sure how I'm gonna do this, probably switch it up a little bit like this. I want to do that Arnold thing, but I gotta figure it out. Gotta get the right side here. Okay, 
something like that. Uh, a little bit of uh, physique posing. More of the front. Side. Actually, I forgot this. Go to this one. Don't want to do that when I do it. And then probably just go back to the side. It's one of my favorite poses for me. Anyways, that's it. Hope this video shows a little bit of what's going on here. Um, three weeks out, West Coast Iron. Van City Showdown.